Hey guys, it's Ashley, and I want to show you today the step-by-step -step process of creating a challenge group. And it's really easy. Um, it's not something to get freaked out about. Um, it's, it's really easy. So I'm just going to take you step-by-step. -step. Um, so go ahead and open up Facebook so you can kind of do it along with me. Okay, so very simple. All you're going to do is go down here to groups, click on groups, more, and you're just going to create a group. All right, so the name of the group is whatever you've kind of been advertising. It might just be October challenge group or July challenge group, but you all are creative. You're on my team. You're going to be awesome, and you can think of a better name than that. So ours is Planksgiving for this November. If you already know what members you want to add to the group, you can go ahead and add them. I know that Janine is going to be co-leading it with me, so I'm going to go ahead and add Janine. Um, I'll add a couple other coaches that I know will probably want to be in here. So we want it to be anyone can find the group and see who's in it. No, we don't want that. We want this to be a secret group because when we want people to feel safe. Create. All right, now this is the most fun part. Let's choose an emoticon. Wow, I don't know. This horse is looking pretty cool. If they had a turkey or something like that, or someone doing a plank, that might be best. I don't see that. I kind of want to choose the horse. These are weird. Good, 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 good. I'm going to do a running shoe. <laughs> All right, so. Before doing all this, I the main things you want to do, so you can think of this as you're throwing a party, okay? You can start and you can add everybody and invite them to the party and get them coming, but that's going to be a lame party. You don't want to be decorating while they're at the party. You want to have it all set up. So it's very easy to set up. First thing you're going to do is you're going to add some main files, upload files. Now, to find the files, all I did is go into my coaches challenge group and I went under files and I just downloaded and copied. So I have them in a folder named Beachbody challenge group main starter files. If you do 21 day fix or a very program specific group, then you might have some extra files like for 21 day fix. I have foods, I have planners, that kind of thing. But otherwise, you're going to want this challenge group nutrition guide. You're going to want to add the challenger guide, a meal, <clears throat> a meal planner, this Monday or Sunday through Saturday. And then I made this that has the picture angles that they want to take. And then also a progress tracker that they can print out and they can keep their measurements on. Um, so I, this is going to have make you do one at a time and it puts the first ones that you upload on the bottom so if you want something to be nearer to the top then you can upload that first. I don't usually say anything about it because the text doesn't usually show up so I just save it. So mine's gonna take a while. So while it's doing okay there we go and I'm just going to keep uploading um, these files. Now, if you have some really awesome idea and you want to add other files besides this, totally go for it. I've thought about doing um, something where they keep track every day with a point system, one to five, how well they're doing with eating, how well they're doing with exercise, and have them go ahead and write their names maybe and just have them write their points down there. That's something you could do. Um, I've made before a list of all my Pinterest boards 
um, that have to do with food and clean eating. So I'll probably add that to this one. I'll just have to go and get it from an old group and copy and paste it. Um, and so I'll upload all of those files um, to this group. Okay, and I don't want to take too long, make this video too long by watching, having you watch me save these. So I'll kind of go to the next thing. Um, okay, so add a description. This also can be anything you want. All right, nothing exciting. <laughs> you want to be positive. I'm sure you could be more creative. But basically, what's this all about? Hey, download the files. Make sure you're ready to go. And you check in here once a day. You're going to do great. Um, feel free. Okay, I want people to know that it's not just me being the coach and them having to go along. It's whatever they want. Okay, so really, I've got to load a couple more documents, but things are looking really good, except it's ugly. So I don't want to take too much time, but you're going to want to create a banner to go up top. And if you have Photoshop, then do it with Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, a lot of people use PicMonkey.com, and they create banners that go up here. Um, so this is what I put for um, one of the first ones that I did. My idea was to change this a little and say like, week. This is negative one. So this is the preseason week one, week two, week three. Um, and change some goals. So that would be my ideal thing that I would do. Um, so now basically the party's pretty, the lights are on. You could go ahead and invite. The most awesome thing to do though would be to create a little welcome video with your friendly happy face and post it as the top post. Happy face video. And in that video, you'll just say, welcome, so happy you're here. Here's the files that you're going to see. Here's what we expect. This is what you need to get results. Um, and I suggest uploading those to YouTube and copying the YouTube link um, here. So yeah, that is what you're going to basically do to get everybody here. And then if you see this little guy right here, you can pin a post. And that just means that the post is going to stay up here. So even if I had like five challengers posting on top, my challenge for the day wouldn't get pushed down to the bottom. Instead, it would stay at the top. So that's how you pin a post, or you can unpin a post. Um, so I suggest doing a video to um, welcome everybody. And then it's really great if you can do videos every day or every couple days and just show them doing, you know, that you're in it and kind of illustrating things you're talking about, keeping it motivating. If you do that, just make sure you keep it really organized so that you can use these group after group. Don't say anything about the specific month or the name of the group unless you're willing to constantly be making new videos. I know that there's some coaches, it's really awesome, they will do like a video every morning um, and post like a live video. Um, so I think that's great. Um, with my schedule, I can't do that. So efficiency is best. But yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Now you just will need to go to members and you just need to add people. Just need to invite the people. And with the challenge group, you can't, you don't have to do a preseason. I like to do a preseason just because it gets people kind of ready and pumped. You get to tell them things like throw it out your junk food. They have chances to ask about how to make Shakeology or about the program if they're looking over it. It also gives you time to start a group on the start date, but then if people kind of add you know, join late or get the program late, then if they miss the preseason, they're not really missing a lot. Um, so I'm excited for you all to start your own challenge groups. 
If you get overwhelmed at any time with getting up and posting early, then I just suggest scheduling it with Sendable or Hootsuite. Sendable, I think, is better, um, though. And also, feel free to run a group with one or several coaches. That is really no problem at all. You want to tell your challengers, hey, I'm still your coach. I'm the one you're going to go to, message, ask questions to. But I'm running this with several other coaches, and so you're going to have lots of extra support as well. So peace out. I love you guys. You're going to do great and help lots of people um, achieve their goals just through your, your being on top of it and being encouraging, adding great graphics, you know, adding quality content. Um, and, and don't feel like you have to stick to a template. Please, please, please improve. Make it better. Make all of us better. Share what you're doing better. But all right, make me proud. One more thing, I think it's important um, that you know how to add a group as a favorite and you can tell your challengers to do the same. You might even want to do a little video about that. So to do that, you're just going to go to groups on this side and then you're going to look for it. There's Planksgiving and add to favorites. And then what that does is now it's on this right here. So it's not going to get, there's not that many groups here. We don't want it to get way, way down here. And then people not know about it, then they're not checking out, checking it out. So you want to encourage group members and yourself to make every group that you're in a favorite. Done for real.